Hi, I'm Miss Christine. One of our topics on internet safety is staying anonymous. Staying safe online can be achieved in many different ways. The two most important things you should learn are keeping as much of your personal lives and information off the internet as possible and only going to the internet in a public place or where adults can be with you. Some of you are not aware of the information that is safe to share with others, especially when you're on a website with strangers. You must know that the personal information you don't want others to see needs to be kept off those websites. Public locations where people can access the internet depend on where the internet is available and the devices used to go to the internet. With handheld devices such as cell phones, tablets, and iPads, it's easier to connect to the web anywhere we want. What a great convenience, however, has its disadvantage. You can chat anywhere and that includes unsupervised locations. To keep you safe online, access the internet when your parents or responsible adult is with you. You can send instant message or an email or chat with friends online and there are plenty of things to talk about with your friends. You can also share things easily instead of waiting to see them in person. Talking with friends you know face to face and approved by your parents, sharing information might be considerable. But sharing personal information on the internet without thinking about who has access to it, you are putting yourself at risk because they can give you that information to harm you or even take that information and pretend to be you. And this is when identity theft can occur. So what information should we never share online? Let's talk more about it as we continue with our discussion on internet safety.